my name is Dale West and I am creating this presentation for a class that I'm taking at American College of Education. The class specifically is DL5203, which is Digital Content for Learning. And this project is for our Module 4 application assignment. So let's go ahead and get started. The uh, project is going to focus on storyboarding a learning app. So to start, I identified an area that my students are commonly struggling in in module one of this course. The area I identified is orthographic projection, which is the ability to visualize and create 2D views of a model based on its 3D representation. This is a skill that is very important to my class that some students definitely struggle with in the beginning. So my students are in the midst of a vast unplanned experiment surrounded by digital technology. And at the apex of this boom is the introduction of apps for tablets and smartphones. The main attraction for incorporating a mobile app in my classroom is that it can be used in tandem with my classroom curriculum and it helps my students understand complex material. So this project is going to focus on creating a learning app specifically for orthographic projection. And throughout the rest of this video, you will see a storyboard, which will help you visualize my idea for this app. So the home screen of the app will just have the title of the name of the app, which is Orthographic Projector. And then it'll give the uh, user three different options. One being to practice and learn. The second one being to play the game. And finally, the third one to compete against other users. If the student chooses the practice area, they will be taken to this next screen, which has some different options. On the top right, you can go back to the menu home screen or on the top left, you can select a different widget, which is like a 3D model that they can choose from and they can pick different ones. And then on the bottom left, they can choose a project option, which we'll show in a little bit. And on the bottom right, they can choose an unfold option, which I will also show you a little bit. After a student has chosen a widget from the widgets options, they'll be able to simply use their fingers and hold down on the screen to orbit around that widget in order to see the different views of each side of it. If they click the widget screen, they may see something that looks like this where they can click on and pick a different model uh, that they would like to orbit around. If they click the project button, it will project the different views of that object onto the glass box. If they click unfold, the box will begin to unfold and the student will then be able to see the different views of that widget. And then if they go back to the menu button up here, and go to the play option, they can then play the game, which is based on a point value. The student will be given random widgets from a library that have already been pre-submitted or pre-loaded. And then they will be given different answers on the left to choose from. So based on this widget, they would then click on which one of these is the correct option. For this one, it would be here and then it would give them a score or a point value. And finally, if the students go back to the main menu and choose the compete option, they can then log in with a user account and compete against other classmates. So for example, here you'll see two scores and currently I am playing Sarah and I am in the lead with 10 points. So that would be some motivation to practice the skill, learn it, and also compete against some other classmates. If 
finally, I would like to share my references. Some of the image that you have seen on in this project have been taken from this website, and these were some of the quotes that I also included. And that is it. I would like to thank you for watching my presentation and learning about my ideas for a learning app in regards to the graphic projection. Mm -hmm.